Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So before we get started, let's jump ahead to Future Me for the results of our raffle. Alright, thanks past me. So there's 400 unique commenters in the last thread, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and let's hit the button. Random names fly around. Ah, Oosh Ruff. I'm not really sure how to say that. Anyway, congratulations, and yes, we do have a natural defense force. It's going to be pretty great. Everyone that attacks us from the north is going to have a very bad time. So if you could just go ahead and jump on Discord and send me um, a message or pop into one of the channels, that'd be great. I actually don't have a way to contact you through the comments, so... <laughs> In any case, congratulations, and now, back to the future. So, alright, congrats again. Alright, so... Uh, you may notice there's a lot of colored dots on the map. Oh, <laughs> there are lots of colored dots. So let's start from the top corner here. So I needed to move the anima tree because this distance was absolutely unwalkable. So I decided that I would move it kind of part way across. But in order to do that, I wanted to follow kind of the same rules that it had initially. So um, I measured out exactly how large of a circle this has as kind of its exclusion zone. I assume this is the radius in which it wouldn't have spawned if there are artificial structures. This is 70 by 70. I think. Now I can't remember. Something big like that. So I kind of sketched it out. I moved it down here. I actually didn't move it quite as far as I'd hoped. I wanted to move it a little more than halfway, and instead I moved it slightly less than halfway. Whatever. That's not the point. Also, I wanted to replicate the area right around it. So you can see there's kind of this cute little area where there's lush grass and sand and stuff. So anyway, I popped open dev mode, took a screenshot of that, came down here, popped it open again, and replicated it block for block. That took much longer than it should have. But this way, I think, is close enough that we can actually build a pathway and get back and forth with a reasonable amount of effort, as opposed to going up here, which would have been basically impossible. So, there's that. Unfortunately, when I moved the tree, I did indeed get, um... the anima scream. Yeah, which is pretty bad. Ah, and it keeps echoing, and you are a night owl. And I... did not notice that. Well, crap. So I need to fix this. All right, I think this is the right way to do it. I believe that Night Owl is 10 to 18 o'clock that they're unhappy about. So, uh, I don't know. There you go. Do that. All right, so that'll help a little bit. So, um, a couple other things I have going on here. Uh, this is now going to be covered storage. I've moved some storage zones around. I've moved some priorities. This is now just going to be for blocks and steel. Um, oh, I could probably just delete this one right away. Actually... I wish I hadn't done that. Medicine, covered storage, blocks, corpses, kind of stuff like that. Um, I'm moving some more stuff inside here because it's quicker, I think, to move the steel stuff over and then take it apart because then the steel ends up in your base. Otherwise, you have things like this where I have like 898 steel there and another 105 there that just nobody's bothering to move. So that's not great. We need our steel inside our base. So I'll bring them in and then I'll uh, deconstruct them afterwards. Now, down here. We need to not starve to death. <laughs> so here's my plan. Um, I don't love this plan, but it's a plan. So if we take a look at our sun lamps here, it fits neatly inside this little thing. And I never build them like this. I always build them these big, ugly squares. But I'm kind of out of space down here, and I don't have the wood to build bridges. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this our sun lamp growing area. And then we need to actually get some power for it. I think the two more solar generators will be enough to keep it going. Um, so we need to extend the wall down over here and then obviously build a wall here, and then build some solar panels, and then starve to death and die, and it'll be really funny. But that's kind of the plan. So, is that it? I think that's it. I am going to go ahead. Here, you guys just start doing things, whatever it is you're doing. And I'm taking out this big purple circle. Oh god, no. I'm taking out this big purple circle because I'm tired of looking at it. I'm taking out all these dots because I'm tired of looking at them. God, this took entirely too long. Alright, carry on, people. Oh, and I sent some people out to get, um... I don't know, you've decided to get the tar monster, and then someone else came out to get the... Whoa, hold on. Mad emus. Hold on, hold on. Where are you going? You're going over here. Alright, where do we have emus? Is it just the one emu, or is it many emus? Three emus. That's actually not so great. Emus are kind of hard to kill. Um, forget about the elephant. Why doesn't everybody just come inside? Animals, why don't you come into my safe zone? Um, people, why don't you come on into... The home zone? Is that good enough? Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, I have to keep, like, pausing this. I don't know if I'm getting COVID or what, but, like, all of a sudden I've got this crap in my lungs I can't seem to get rid of. It's very annoying. Animals, shouldn't you be moving into animal safety? Oh, licorice? Because there's an emu, like, coming in hot right behind you. In fact, why don't the three of you all come over here? Prepare for emo-based doom. Emo. For emo-based doom. 
Oh, that's much funnier than I expected it to be. Let's see, actually, maybe two of you is enough. I'm deliberately leaving these doors open, by the way, because I really don't want to have to keep replacing them. Alright, where are the rest of the emus? Are they anywhere nearby? I don't see them. We'll keep an eye out for things coming in fast, and then we'll move people, because I want them to be able to, like, do their own stuff, like, eat and whatever. We're having enough problems with people freaking out. We don't need to make it any worse, right? No, nope, here's an emu. Alright, alright, alright. Everyone can kill it. Virgo, what are you so sad about? All kinds of things. Need warm clothes. I've got warm clothes. It's just that she won't put it on. Come on. You don't have all day. Alright, good job. And then Barry, while you're at it, please come put on this coat. It's a good quality duster. You'll enjoy it. You'll love it. Dusters are nice. Oh, and here's our third and final emu. Alright, alright. Last time, I promise. This is it. After this, you can go to bed and I won't bother you about emus. And that was quick and effective. Thank you very much. Alright, animals, please go ahead and go be free. People, please go ahead and be free. This is just weird to me because I'm not used to it being so short. It's like, I don't know, these should be a lot bigger. Um, Virgo, emu, um, I don't know, do whatever. Just do something. At least now we've got some emu meat, right? And I need to put another entrance over here where I so stupidly put the um, graves, because we need another way to come in and out that doesn't go through the kill box, that doesn't involve walking through this 30% speed debuff. Uh... Alright. And yes, I would love to build a pathway up here and get started in meditation, but we can't afford it. We gotta, we gotta work on other things first. Like, building this wall would be super nice. I did switch the work schedules around just a little bit, Hopefully they're a little smarter now. I honestly can't tell if they are or not. Glow, what are you doing up in the middle of the night? Please tell me I didn't put this in the wrong place. Oh, for God's sake. Wow. Okay, well, well done, me. Hopefully there is something up sarcastic on the screen. Galatrosses, yeah, we're not going to bother them. So now are you happier because you're up in the middle of the night? Yes. Night Owl at night, plus 16. That's what we need. You may also be saying to yourself, Deco, isn't it kind of stupid putting the entrance to your covered storage right behind your, like, um, primary firing line? And the answer is yes, it is incredibly stupid. But I can't think of anything else to do. I don't know, I kind of ran out of ideas. Okay, I wish you hadn't ridden licorice in there. But that's okay, actually, I don't care. Just, just do whatever. Can you ride on ostriches? Should I find out? I was just gonna kill it. But if we could ride it around, that would actually be really, really funny. So, let's find out. So I think we have enough granite down here to put in these walls all the way around, although I'm not actually sure. Um, we've decided to go that way. Okay. I suppose that's one option. You know, you do you. I don't wanna tell you what to do. I don't want to tell you how to do your business, although I'm gonna. Now, yes, I can connect these diagonally and save some stone, but I hate that look. I did it in the bedrooms initially because I just wanted to make my pawns sad, which is not the best of all possible reasons. However, after that, I would like to have this, you know, just, it just looks nicer. Yeah, I'll clip it in here for the butchering area and stuff like that, but on the whole, that's really something that I would prefer to avoid. And how are we gonna, oh, hi, Galatross, you're like right here. Yeah, I don't think I've ever successfully killed a Galatross. I think on a side colony I tried to attack them and they just mowed through my entire high-tech colony. It was really actually quite funny at the time, but it's not really funny in retrospect. So, anyway, never mind. Okay, good, I do have enough granite. Good, good, actually we have a lot more. Perfect, I would like to do this entire external wall with granite. As much as possible. I mean, it'd be nice if you, you know, build the stuff rather than just throwing the blocks on the ground. I mean, it's not like it's 27 out and we're gonna die of hunger or anything. So, you know, take your time. You know, whatever you do, you man. Ooh, microelectronics. All right. So now we need to go down to do things like multi-analyzers, but I do not have a bench made. So we need to go ahead and set up the bench. Mm, High-tech workbench. Yeah, which is a lot of steel. Yeah. Well, let's plunk it actually over here. So this really wasn't the right spot to put the medicine. Um, we'll just sort of expand that zone. 
And I think... Barry, you're not exactly busy. Why don't you come haul a bunch of the steel over? And then I think we might actually have enough then. I guess we'll find out, won't we? And our plants are dying because of cold. Crap. Alright, well, um... If there's anything that can be harvested, harvest it. But unfortunately, my people that it should be harvesting are currently in bed. No, please come harvest. Not assigned to plant cutting. No. At least get the medicine. Well, hopefully that looked really cool in slow motion. Yeah, we're not going to get anything out of this. Ah, crap. Well, we stalled just a little too long. Alright, well, let me get the rest of this wall built here. Actually, go ahead and finish up that research bench. Because we do need to get this stuff going. Bah, that's disappointing. Oh, there's no power that far down? Seriously? 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 I guess you're right, there isn't. Okay, go ahead and work on that. And then let's get the rest of this finished down here. Um, let's see here. Alright, something like that. I had to count up blocks and stuff, so hopefully Virgo comes back and does that soon. Um, you're playing chess while everybody starves to death. I suppose that's fine. You do you. I really should probably start these schedules out with work again, just to get them out of bed. Just that everybody was so sad initially that I wanted to make them happy. That catch, by the way, is progress renderer. It's really nice, and I really like it, and it's really annoying um, once you start to notice it. Alright, so, deep drilling. This is such a weird where to start the tech tree. This is just, this is so strange. I've never done this before. And I sincerely hope it works. Okay, you've opened up holes in the walls without bothering to actually build the exterior walls. That is actually... Okay, it's a little concerning. I'm not gonna lie. You're not very good at construction. Would you come, like, build some of these walls for me, please? Since nobody else is, thank you. Quest available, the deserter. All right, a disgraced officer is calling from nearby. She's deserted the army of the Shattered Empire and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. Okay, wishes to join us. Um, knows the location of a key outpost containing everything needed to develop some silent neuroformers. Okay. Um. I. Ooh. A champion, a janitor, and a trooper. I'm sure that we could deal with one or two of these. Um, I'll think about that. 7.3 days means I don't have to worry about it right now. Alright, things are ever so slowly getting taken care of here. Moving all my walls around, putting in the roof. This takes forever. Oh, I really wish you would do this faster, my friend. Like, you were doing so well, and then all of a sudden you kind of stopped. Okay, I see you're, like, recreating. Can you come please maybe build these walls? And do stuff like that. I know this is your recreation time, but I really need you to work on this instead. Okay, and now we can go ahead and we can put a door in here. So please put this set of walls in right there, and we will just use... I've been using steel doors everywhere. I don't really want to, but they are faster. Well, let's go ahead and let's just do that. Make a steel door. Put it right there. Alright. My god, okay. And we'll finish up bits and pieces of that, just kind of as things go on here. Okay, so now... Let me get all this in the indoor zone. Now I need the power to be able to actually start to grow things out there. So now, do we have enough stuff to build another solar generator on our own? I don't believe that we do. Um, I can unforbid these, so these get brought in. Let's see here, how much does this cost? Actually, we can afford, we can afford one. Yeah. Hey, what's this boom rat? Oh, I left this door open. Son of a bitch. Now I have to kill it. That's going to be annoying. I mean, I don't have to kill it right away. In fact, you know what? Let's leave that door open because everything's going to die in here in the winter. Um, but let's come move these things in right away. The stuff that is out here. Just move it. ASAP. And yeah, I see that we're out of space to put anything. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be exciting. All right, so um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, power. Let's go ahead and let's get some power built. Um... I'll leave the room for the one in the middle. The reason I have these in kind of this stupid way is because um, you can't walk over these to like stand on things and fix the walls, but this way you can get around to get to the outer walls, even if it's not a very good process. So it's better than nothing, I suppose. 
Moderately? Yeah, there's like camels and stuff eating our food. It's very irritating. You know what, camel? You're gonna get killed. The boom rat, I don't really want anything, I don't want it set on fire. There, thank you. Not that we have any place to put the meat. And actually meals, um, did I reallow meat in here? Yeah, I did, okay. All right, let's see if we have enough power to go ahead and flip on a light. So, ready? I don't know if we do, but we're about to find out. I mean, we don't have enough stuff for it anyway, so that's a little academic, but soon, maybe. Let's bring a power conduit over for it. Um, I think it only needs to go to here. And yeah, we just have to kind of wait on the steel now. Things keep thoughtfully like coming into our base. And again, I don't have anybody to clean full time. So it's been kind of problematic. Actually, since you're not growing anything at the moment, shouldn't you be falling through? Let me put you at cleaning at number two. It is fairly important to not like have everything rot, you know, and I do not want meat out here. Please don't do that. Okay, well, apparently I can't stop you. Okay, let's just make some shelves and stuff out of, um... Marble is fine. Let's see here. Food basket, right. And let's go ahead and let's make a couple of those. They do not need to be quality built. And in fact, since you keep taking food outside, how about you go ahead and come and make those? Both of them. I don't even care that you're not huge on construction. You have to go do it. Because you were foolishly standing too close. Actually, it's because you were taking meat out and letting the animals eat it. Luckily, it's below freezing out there, but even so. Okay, that actually took longer than I expected, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we want to basically allow all... Actually, that's not true. We want... Hmm, I really screwed this up, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, raw foods. Meat, vegetable... Yep, go ahead and put that at critical. I think the other one will be set out right then, too. Oh, a wanderer joins. Um, hi. <laughs> You're Virgo's ex-wife. Okay. Hi. Incapable of dumb labor. Well, that's annoying. But I can have you do other things. Um, well, actually, can I? Well, yes, actually. Sure. Fine. Hi. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna have you do everything that, like, nobody else really has time for. I guess I could art you up later. I guess that might be fine. Let's put growing down under here, then. Hauling and cleaning up on top, then, maybe? And let McKenny slash Rancher deal with the rest of it? I suppose. It's not great, but I suppose. Um, okay, so do I still have some wall stuff left? A little bit. Limestone, slate. Well, they're really not the person I hoped for, but we can make this work. We can make this work. I don't love it. Not even a little. And I can't waste steel on a bed. Uh, are you going to get a wooden bed? Uh, I think you're gonna, just because I really can't afford to make anything else. Alright, fine. You get the only wooden bed in the colony. Just because you're kind of inconvenient. <laughs> Alright. Well, welcome to the team. I guess. I'd say I'm glad to have you here, but I'm not exactly certain that's true. Okay, Virgo's been hauling some of this stuff around. Maybe you should go ahead and take that apart too. Because we need the steel so that we can make this light so that we can get our growing going. Oh, and it'd be a good idea too if I could uh, put a heater in here. That's why the door is outside to try to help a little bit with this. Yeah, and I really got to put flooring in this, but I just don't have time. Actually, you'll craft, even though you suck at it. Yes, craft. That means you can chop apart all these blocks. Do you have warm? Do you have any clothes on at all? Oh, for the. Now I'm going to make clothes for you. Well, la-di-da. Look who's all fancy now. Button-down shirt. Um, pants. Um, just make these out of leather. For this set, I don't really care. Alright. Alright. 
Deep drilling is done. Yay. Ground penetrating scanner. This won't take long. And then we can start making useful research. Oh, look at you. Are you... You're an animus. <gasps> I want to tame you. I desperately want to tame you. They are the best animals. I love them to death. Oh my god, you tamed it. <laughs> On the very first try. Hi. And the ostrich cannot be cannot be used in any way, shape, or form. So, we're going to do that, and you are going away. Sorry, ostrich. You're just a drain on our resources. <laughs> Instead of Animus Vox 1, who I will find a name for a little bit later. Virgo, I know it's really funny, but can you go ahead and tailor, please? Did I not switch that on? I know it's funny to, like, leave her to wander around naked. Because I'm sure that you, you know, harbor some animosity. But we really should at least make her a duster. After she's had a duster, then I'll let you go. <laughs> I heard something dying. I don't care. Oh, Animus Vox 1, you should be in the animal zone. Yep, there we go. As soon as you're done with the duster, Virgo, I'll let you go. <laughs> Oh, man. I can't believe your ex showed up. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and do whatever it is you want. Here, where are you? Go put on this duster and quit your whining. There. Fine. So there's another feature here. Um, I forgot about this mod. I don't know why I have it installed. This is um, for, like, cleaning. So what you can do is you can set a zone that is for only the areas that you want cleaned. Okay, I just... Screwed that up. Hold on. Okay, let's try the sentence again. <laughs> okay, so only the areas that you want clean, which is actually not a whole lot of area. In fact, it doesn't even need to be um, over here. Right. It only really needs to be indoors here. And then you can go ahead and you can say that only the cleaning area is the one that's going to get cleaned. And that saves your people a lot of time because they're not running around trying to clean animal filth out of your kill box. Not that that happens all the time. All right. Winter has begun. Hasn't it just? Virgo, buddy. You're driving me absolutely crazy. Can you come haul all this stuff back inside? This is like the slowest possible way for you to do any of this. At least you're going to take licorice with you. I have to move these graves and get you guys a better entrance. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting completely ridiculous. We should be okay food-wise. Although I'm not happy about it. I hope this is the end of like, oh no, look, there's still some scattered crap around. Okay, you know what? Um, when you're done with that, haul this steel as well. Because you shouldn't drop off licorice in the meantime. Well, at least we can keep her busy. And by her, I mean McKinney. And not that busy, but a little busy. At least nobody will have to cook ever again, basically. Or at least I uh, grow things. All right, Virgo, and after this, I'll let you go. Yeah, I know, I have nothing for you to do now, because you're worthless. Barry, you have a few seconds here to just come construct this. All right, there's light. And before you get away... This is just barely enough. Okay, good. Virgo's asleep. Glow, are you still... Barry... I, I was asking someone... Where are you? Okay, can you just build this? Oh, construction skill too low. Virgo, good news. Hop out of bed, go build this quick. And then we can finally start growing some food in here. Okay. So. So we'll have a big zone for potatoes. We'll have another big zone for medicine, because otherwise we're just never going to have any medicine ever again. Oh, let's go ahead and let's expand that. And then for the third... What, some cotton maybe? Since we didn't get any, and it would be nice to have some. Oh my god, there's more floors in here. Oh, that's so annoying. Yes, that's fine. This is a weird biome. This is a very slow start for reasons that are very stupid. And I really can't tell you... Well, I can tell you exactly why. It's just that they're just dumb. And I'm not mad at the biome, by the way. This is really interesting. <laughs> this is one of the stranger things that I've ever done. Um... And I think it's really fun. And I should have made this room just a tiny bit bigger. But the important part is you're finally getting some work done. Yay! And what's the rest of this nonsense look like? Our power is doing okay? Wait, your name is... 
Ted number 68. Well, welcome, Ted number 68. Oh my god. Look at them all. Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right, Virgo. Okay, you're hauling. Don't you have better stuff to be doing with your time, like tailoring? Oh, this counts as construction, of course. Hey, scanner's done. All right. So now, do we start? Let me see here. What do I usually do from here? Usually I've gone down through guns because I'm panicky. I probably should do guns. On the other hand, robots, oil, uh, but I really need guns, unfortunately. Let's learn how to do smithing. I know it's disappointing. Oh yeah, and I forgot to move this. This way I can use the waste heat um, to help keep this room warm. And that's good for both sides of the wall, if that makes any sense to you. Hopefully it does. Glow, can you just move this really quick here? It just takes a few seconds. Thank you. It says unroofed. Why? That's why. There we go. It's funny it was staying warm even so. Actually, I may not even need that heater in here. I was going to say, let's turn that down a little bit. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Good deal. I'm happy about that. Okay. And I see you've got some of the stuff taken apart, so we are almost ready to build our scanner and so on and so forth. Actually, can we even build that? Or was do I need uh, the advanced components that I forgot about? Yeah, I forgot about the advanced components. So, I realize that this seems slightly suboptimal, and it is. It's kind of stupid in its own special way. But this way, as soon as we have access to an advanced component, I can immediately build the rest of this stuff and then get some drills set up. We'll have to deal with some bugs here and there, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. So, anyway, that's kind of the plan. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.